All right, so we're here with Greg. Hey, Greg, how you doing? I'm well, sir. How are you? Good. Um, we're at United Tactical Supply. We're outside of our booth. We have a, a system here that's going to take a little bit of work. Um, it needs some space. So this is the speeds kit. Correct. And it's a decon kit. Correct. Correct. All right. So why don't you kind of talk about how easy it is to use, how many people it can accommodate, and, and, and so on and so forth. Absolutely. System was designed to be a tactical, portable, small-scale decontamination system that didn't require a water source. So you can have the pack, be at location, or have it in the truck for these types of events exactly. and be ready to go. Exactly. Okay. It's the, the comes packaged in waterproof bag. Inside the bag, and you that have... that bag is, is a... Use a uh, backpack type. Correct. So, so it can be, it's man portable, can be humped down range. Lightweight. In the theater or it can be stored on a truck. Okay. Um, so the, the contents of the bag, kind of explain yep. how it's set up. So basically you have three bags within this larger bag. You have a black bag, which basically has your infrastructure, everything you're going to set up at every time to do your small scale decon. You have a yellow so, bag. So, so the infrastructure meaning these little pods correct the, where they stand in and, and, and the tools that you're going to need for any type of uh, event exactly okay. you basically so within this black bag you have your hotline you have your green line this is what will be called your contaminated control area all right so everything on this side is your dirty your dirty drop area so all your guys that are jocked up the system was basically developed to get the guys that are wearing their protective envelope, be it the, the CBRN respirator suit, out of that protective envelope without cross-contamination. And these guys were finding that they were going in theater, going downrange, jocked up in their protective envelope, but then they come in contact with some kind of a CWA, chemical warfare agent, or a toxic industrial chemical, or a right. toxic industrial material, and now they were finding they were going to have to extract, but that then, then that, they contaminate the vehicle exactly, or, or, or exactly. even just trying to get out of it and exactly. get it on you. Exactly. Okay. So they needed to come up with a way to, to tactically decontaminate themselves. So what, what, what type of uh, scenarios does this package include? So you have chemical? Exactly. Chemical and biological. Okay. Chemical decontamination is primarily done with dry decon. Standard SDS powder or an M295 decontamination wipe. And your biological scenario is usually done with a wet wash, which is calcium hypochlorite and surfactant, which is basically bleach and soap. So what you get in here is you get everything you need to do either a wet biological decon or a dry chemical decontamination. Okay. Now, Greg, so how many does this kit, how, how many people can this decontaminate? This specific kit does 12 men. Okay. It and also comes... that size. Exactly. It comes in a 24-man system, a 12-man system, a 6-man system, and then there's also an individual decontamination system. Okay, now um, the 24, is that still, can one person carry that? One person can still carry it, still fits in the same bag, oh, it's just a little more robust. Basically, you have your decontamination stations right here. In the 12 and the 6-man, you have two decontamination stations. In the 24-man, you have four decontamination stations. Now, I know it, it probably depends on how contaminated the person is, but how, how long does it take for a person to get decontaminated? You can probably run a full-scale decontamination line up to 24 personnel within 20 minutes. Within 20 within minutes. Within 20 so minutes. very fast. Exactly. So it's exactly. meant that you, you're probably still in the hot zone. You're trying to get in, get out. Exactly. And, and go. All exactly. Right. Correct. So within the black bag, like I said, is all your infrastructure, your, your, your red line, your green line, everything in here is your contaminated control area, your infrastructure being your tool belt that each station operator is going to wear. Within your tool belt, you have your cutting tools, your, your scissors, everything that each operator is going to use to, to cut Get out it. their specific station. Okay. So depending on whether it was a chemical or a biological event, you're going to grab either your yellow bag or your orange bag, and within there you have your, your decontamination media. So for the, the, like I said, the chemical is your SDS powder and right. your M295 wipes for dry. That's and, all in there. And biological, yes, is everything you need to do a wet wash. And so I was talking to you, I, you know, I've never been a part of anything like this. So, but you said that this is for the layman. I mean, you have a, a set of instructions that it goes, you say keep, a, keep, you know, the keep it simple, there, stupid, right? absolutely. So you, they can just go through and if they need to, they can figure out how to use this. There is a validated procedure um, in, this, in this booklet for any possible ensemble that you might be wearing, whether it's a one-piece suit like this, whether it's a standard-issued two-piece JS list suit, um, ambulatory and non-ambulatory personnel. Right. So there's a, there's a very detailed set of procedures if you have a man on a stretcher 
that you need to run through the decon line. Um, everything's kind of in here, and it was, like I said, it was a validated system, had it validated at a Dugway Proving Grounds. So who's using this? Currently, our biggest customer is Navy EOD. Okay. Um, every mobile unit out there has to have a specific this kit. System. Right, in order right. to be 100% manned and ready to operate. Um, it's very big within the, the special operations community. Um, a lot of Army SF units, Army EOD, uh, the system's in use throughout um, many of the National Guard, civil so support teams. So most branches are, are using it. it yeah, right pretty much, right. exactly. And, uh, and they've been using this for quite some time? Yeah, the system's been in service probably now for about 10 years. 10 years, okay, yeah. wow. So it's been tested, proven. Tested and proven, yeah, right. absolutely. And like I said, it's the only tactical validated decontamination system that's in use throughout the DOD. Well, I appreciate all the information you gave us today. Absolutely. Have a good show. Yes, sir. Thank you very much.